In this video, I want to talk about conversions associated with capacity or volume. So I've uh, copied and pasted some images from Google. This picture is seems to be this is a one teaspoon TSP, and this is half a teaspoon. This seems to be half a teaspoon. Now, teaspoon is used in cooking, uh, but the standard unit of uh, capacity of volume is liters. Okay, so yeah, or milliliters. So one, this is something uh, something that's useful. You should know one teaspoon is not exactly, but about five five milliliters. This is five milliliters. One teaspoon is five milliliters. So half a teaspoon would be how much? Half a teaspoon, TSP stands for teaspoon, is 2.5 milliliters. So I'll uh, come to milliliters later. So this is one tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. I don't know the short form of tablespoon. Maybe it is TS. Okay, I don't know. One tablespoon is about 15 milliliters. One tablespoon is 15, about 15 milliliters. Now this is a jug, okay, this is a jug. So in which unit would you measure a jug? Well, the unit that you would measure would be in liters, L for liters. So this may be about how much? Uh, this may be about, say, 5 liters. Okay, I don't know, 5 or 15, so let me make it 15. So this is again a paint container. This is also measured in liter. And the uh, the letter that we use for liter is L. And this may be about say 10 milli, sorry, 10 liters. Not milliliters, 10 liters. I'll talk about the conversion later on. This is a ice container, sorry, ice cream container. So this is also measured in liters. Okay, so this may be about, say, say, 5 liters, I don't know, 5 liters. Now, this is a petrol tank. This is a petrol tank. And the unit of, you measure a petrol tank in kiloliters. Kiloliters. And kiloliters, you write by KL. Okay, so let me give you the conversion, the basic conversion. So this is something you should remember. One liter is the basic unit. So one liter is 1,000 milliliters. 1,000 milliliters. One liter contains 1,000 milliliters. Okay, and one kiloliter is 1,000 liters. So this is all that you need to remember from milliliters to liters to kiloliters. So to it'll be good always to draw a conversion circle, a conversion chart. So this is say from liters to milliliters. So let me draw the whole thing together. Uh, okay, so let me you know do in two separate circles so that will not confuse you. Suppose you want to convert from liters to milliliters or milliliters to liters. So from liters to milliliters, the unit is smaller, but the number is going to get bigger. So you have to times it by 1,000. Can you see? One, this is one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So though 1,000 is how many times of one? Well, that's 1,000 times. So that's why you times it by 1,000. And if you want to go backwards from 1,000 to one, what would you do to 1,000 to get to one? Well, you have to divide by 1,000, so you have to divide by 1,000. So this is how I remember from liters to milliliters. The number is going to get bigger, so you have to times it by 1,000. And from milliliters to liter, the number is going to get smaller, so you have to divide by 1,000. Okay, so now from kiloliters to liters. If from kiloliters to liters, what's going to happen? Is the number going to get bigger or smaller? 
yes it's going to get bigger by how many times thousand times so you have to times it by thousand and from liters to kiloliters it's going to get thousand times smaller so you divide by thousand so if you remember this much and for every question if you have this in your mind you don't need to ask whether you have to multiply or divide so let's do some questions 6.9 liters okay so from liters you want to change into milliliters so you have to multiply so it's 6.9 times 1000 so I'll get my calculator out okay so let me move my calculator so the 6.9 times 1000 which is 6900 milliliters 6900 milliliters now from kiloliters you want to change into liters what's going to happen is the number going to get bigger or smaller from kilolit from kiloliters to liters it's going to get bigger so the same process it is 7.2 times 1000 use your calculator so let me show you a different small calculator so this is 7.2 <coughs> times 1000 is 7200 liters 7200 liters okay question number three from milliliters to liters so what is from milliliters you want to change into liters what would you do the number is going to get smaller by thousand, thousand times smaller, so it would divide by thousand. So this is 350 divided by thousand. So let's get the calculator. Uh, where is cancel? Uh, I can't see the cancel. Uh, okay, yes. So, so 350 divided by 1000 which is 0 0.35 milli sorry 30 0.35 liters again from milliliters to liters what would you do you divide by 1000 so you can use a calculator the answer would be 0 0.425 liters from liters to kiloliters you want to change from liters to kiloliters so let's go back to the chart from liters to kiloliters so what are going to do you're dividing by thousand so if you divide this by thousand I, you can use a calculator so the 7.435 kiloliters now from kiloliters to liters is the number so let's do without looking at the chart is the number going to get bigger or smaller well, it's going to get bigger. So it will times it by, it will times this by 1,000. So this will be 3,950 liters. Okay, one more question from liters to milliliters. Is the number going to get bigger or smaller? Well, it's going to get bigger. From liters to milliliters, times it by 1,000. So it's 1,270 milliliters. Okay, so you can make up your own problems and do the uh, remaining problems yourself.